Hey guys, um, hope you remember me. <laughs> Teacher Josh! Okay, um, so I'm super excited to share this video with everybody. Um, today I'll be reading a book, uh, just like book times. Does anyone remember when we used to read books? Anyone? You can raise your hand, you can just say it out loud because we're not in class. So any ideas? Yes, if you've said already that we read it during carpet time or in afternoon, picture us on the carpet with all our friends and Josh brought out a book. Maybe you would have picked it, but today Josh picked out a book and it's called The Day the Crayons Quit. And you can see there, how are they feeling? How's Mr. Orange Crayon feeling? How's Miss Red Crayon feeling? Cool. Can you see the blue's face? Hmm, what does he say? And the green one. Oh, I bet they're all feeling kind of sad. If you said frustrated, angry, give yourselves a pat on the back. Okay, they quit. Why did they quit? Who knows? Maybe you do know, but keep the ending to yourself. So let's open to the first page. Okay, and there's Mr. Frog in the back. I hope he's not distracting. All right. So, what are these things? Bunch of letters. So, I don't know if you guys can see the words, but I'll move up. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Whoa, there's Duncan. Whoa, look at this huge letter in the picture. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out, coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. Do you guys know any other things that we color with red? Hmm, let's think for a second. We got fire engine, apple, hearts, strawberry, and Santa. What other things do we color with red? Hmm. Hmm, what? Did someone say something? Maybe a little bit of, what hurts our fingers if we, we can't touch it? It hurts if we touch it. It's usually on the stove or with wood, it eats wood. Anyone guess? Ooh, did someone say fire? Fire, we paint fire, we color fire with red. Anything else that, that's red? Hmm, maybe this is something outside that smells really good and bees like to land on them and butterflies like to land on them and they get their food from them. Flowers, cool, flowers are red. Hmm, if you've thought of anything else and I didn't say it, give yourself a pat on the back, okay? and you can message me later. Um, that's red, yeah, I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. So why did Red, red Crayon quit? quit? Why did Red Crayon quit? Does anyone remember? Hmm, let's read that part again. I even work on holidays. Who wants to work on a holiday? I have to color all the Santas at Christmas. We don't have school, right? Maybe, or maybe we do. And all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest, your overworked friend. So he's working the holidays. He wants to get out of here. Dear Duncan. I'll put this closer if I can read it. Whoa. Dear Duncan. All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes. Oop, I'm getting a low battery charge here. My screen might have went dark. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside of the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend. Pepper crayon. Ooh, purple crayon. So two questions. Why is purple crayon quitting? Hmm. Do you guys see that the color the he colored inside the lines? No, he didn't. Look, it's outside the lines. And remember, purple crayon is very neat. So he wants, what does he want Duncan to do? 
brush his teeth? He wants them to color inside the lines, cool. And I see that we've colored a dragon and a wizard in grapes purple. Can you think of anything else? Hmm, what else do we color purple? Cool, yeah, we might color that purple. Hmm, what did you say? Oh yeah, that maybe that one. And you? Oh yeah, we definitely color that purple. If you're confused as to who Josh is talking to, well, it might be one of our friends in another video who's giving their suggestions. What else, what do you color purple? Hmm, also flowers, maybe houses. Uh, anything else that's purple? Hmm, a lot of things in nature probably. Let's turn the next page. And this time I'm gonna show you the picture first. Hmm, so how is he feeling? How's he feeling? Oh, sad, yeah, you can tell. How can you tell he's sad? Mm-hmm, from his lips, yeah, going down, his eyebrows going down, his body is slunked down. Mm-hmm, even this, what's this called? Why do you think this color might be sad? Do you even know what this color is called? Some people might have said brown because he has a brown tip, but what's this over here? Hmm, let's find out from Duncan. Gotta swing to this side. And friends, I don't know if I'll get to all the pages. It looks like my battery's running out and this video is running kind of long. So I will try to do my best and read uh, a few more pages. Dear Duncan. Did I use that voice? Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. Ooh, he's beige. What do we know that's beige? Can you see anything behind Josh that might be beige? Are the mats beige? Look dark, dark beige, maybe a bit brown. Oh, what are these cabinets? Beige, okay, even some parts of our skin are a bit beige. You might be able to find beige in furniture, okay, maybe beige in buildings. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Never. <laughs> your best, your beige friend, beige crayon. Aw, okay, so beige is a little sad that he's not the favorite color and that he doesn't get to to color the cool things in, right? He only gets a few of things, so he's not used very much. Ooh, what color is this, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh, this might be even Josh's favorite color, which is orange, but this one is also my second favorite, and I love this combination. It is gray. Nice work. Okay, it's gray. What things do we color in gray? What's this thing? A giant elephant. And this one? Hmm, what does it look like? Hmm. If you don't know, it's in the water. It's got a big snout here. It's got these ears that wiggle. They kind of wiggle like that. A hippo. What about this guy? He's got this nice horn in the front. Find him in the safari. A rhino, cool. And what about this guy? It's a penguin, cool. These are all things that are gray. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your things, oh, on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. <gasps> Is there a humpback whale here? Oh, we don't even see a humpback whale. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Whoa, so he's tired. Tired of doing what? Do you guys remember? Tired of drawing the big animals. He's saying, hey, Duncan, why don't you draw some small stuff for me? Hmm, yeah, like rocks and pebbles. All right, let's do one more. One more, friends. Oh, the teacher, Josh, I want another one. I know, stop it. I got, I, this is all I get, guys. My video is running out. 10 minutes long for sitting down digitally. You guys are doing so good. Give yourselves a silent cheer. Whoop, whoop. All right, what color is this, huh? Hmm? Anyone have a guess? I can barely see it. Do you see the crayon here? Huh, 
What is it? I see a face here. That's kind of cool. <gasps> and we got a black page. Let's bring this in. Let's bring this in. <sighs> hmm. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Crayon. All right, there's White Crayon. Okay. So we are gonna finish there and guess what? All these pages are left, whoa. So in another video, look out, possibly when I have time next week or later soon, I will give you the rest of the pages, cool? All right, I missed you guys, have fun, drink water, enjoy the sunshine if you can on those beautiful walks, uh, get some exercise and eat healthy and see you guys soon.